disembark here, benefactors. I may live in relative seclusion, but I can recognize my own territory. Why did you bring us here? Does this look like the Divination Commission to you? <sighs> no need to yell, Master Diviner. The Meridian Pin is malfunctioning, and I couldn't find the entrance to the Delve. I wanted to get us straight to our destination, but this is the only place I could dock the Star Skiff. Look. Exalting Sanctum. This is a safe place. Let's just walk the rest of the way from here. <laughs> Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating between the marsh and water trigrams. The vessel is stranded and the way is blocked. Huh? I heard the Sienjo can tell your fortune. Is that how they do it? Anyone can count on their fingers. What's wrong with that? We've got ten fingers. May as well use them. I just performed some quick divination, and the hexagram is consistent with our current predicament. The Starska cannot take us to the Divination Commission today. Alas, without me in charge to handle the Stellaron crisis, I dare not even imagine the kind of mess the Commission must be in. It's true. The Divination Commission really can't go a single day without Lady Fu. Uh, that's why you have to develop your talent pool. Otherwise, everything falls apart when you go on vacation. Um, by the way, where is Kafka? <laughs> Since you are clearly ignorant of the Commission's eternal affairs, I shall absolve you of your ridiculous remarks. I'm going ahead to make some inquiries. Goodbye. Yeah, what about Kafka? The prisoner must follow me every step of the way. This is Jing Yuan's order. Um, you might not want to hear this, but your general gave us his word. We have to be present when you question Kafka. <sighs> You think too little of me. My word is my bond. I will stick to my promise even if this cell collapses. That's very unlikely, by the way. To have this prisoner speak, the Commission must resort to unconventional means. The nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Forgive me. But I can assure you that the questioning will not begin until you arrive. Even if that means wasting precious time. I have appointed someone to wait for you in front of Exalting Sanctum Plaza. Once we've consolidated our internal affairs, you will be brought into the Divination Commission. Please be patient. Uh, okay. We trust you. <laughs> Oh, I think I offended someone again. You don't see. Uh, don't start. Don't take it to heart, March. Miss Fushin seems like a reasonable lady. I'm sure she's not angry with you. Really? I thought she was pretty icy. Look who's talking. <laughs> Don Hung's not icy. He's nerdy. Okay, enough chit chat. I reckon the Divination Commission could be a while. Let's take a look around. Yeah. Oh, that star skiff was pretty cool. There must be loads of interesting things in Exalting Sanctum. My dad is an ace pilot! He finished the Gray Sky Route in 12 parsecs! 
When we confronted Kafka, she seemed certain that Fu Shen would show up. The leader of the Stellaron Hunters is called Elio. No one knows who he is or what he looks like, only that the Interastral Peace Corporation calls him Destiny's Slave. It's said that he has the power to foresee possibilities. According to Herta, the corporation believes Elio can see the temporal branching of infinite possibilities, which is very much like being able to predict the future. In fact, it may even be superior. If the rumors are true, every seemingly meaningless action taken by the Stellaron Hunters may actually be a choice based on those possibilities. Which would include what they did to you. My dad is an ace pilot! He finished the gray sky route in 12 parsecs! For the sake of this discussion, yes, I think so. But who is it? All of us are future variables, our choices solidifying reality. The future is nothing incredible either, just a fog waiting for us to make a decision. Back to the matter at hand, Kafka. Yes, it's strange for a fugitive to give themselves up, but a fugitive who can see the future? For her, perhaps that was the way it was always going to be. But is she really as calm as she seems? The future holds almost infinite possibilities, after all. I suspect she has proof that she has nothing to do with the Stellaron crisis. Or perhaps something is... Supposed to transpire during the Divination Commission's interrogation. Something Shut up, kid. would allow her a window of escape. <sighs> Why did the Stellaron Hunters go to such lengths to bring us here? What is the future that Destiny's slave sees behind this course of action? The nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Oh, is that a Xianzhou motto or something? First the Skyfaring Commission, now the Divination Commission. They're all so secretive. Oh, the General's the only friendly face here. I hate to admit it, but I'm even starting to miss Sampo. Oh, hold up. I must be losing my mind. <laughs> yes, you are. I'll take this Yenjo over that blue-haired boar any day. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't get him in the gut. Why do you have to make him foster? Oh boy, I'm gonna hate the fact that I have to get him eventually. And the fact that apparently uh, he's maybe a Stella Hunt or somehow or a secret angel for another faction. Oh boy, I'm gonna get to see him later on, aren't we? Oh, we've gone from being chased through every street in Bellabog to waiting on every corner in the Sienjo. <sighs> Chasing and waiting. Maybe that's what life's all about. Are you wondering if the Sienjo is my homeworld? No, I'm not getting any flashbacks. <laughs> Please, do I look Xianzhou-ish to you? You must be thinking of Don Hung. Okay, so in every PlayStation... What did I just say? In every station or planet, we're gonna keep asking if this is Mars 7 planet? <sighs> Good idea. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Clear my head of what? My dad is an ace pilot! Shut up, kid! Uh, that's the plaza. But uh, I can't see anyone waiting for us. Should we look around?
What's going on with him? Wait, did they become the man? Bailu? Well, that was an introduction. Okay, do we enter a fight? Welcome, customers. <laughs> Lance of the ready. you a lesson ready to lie down now <sighs> thanks for helping to stabilize the patients your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective assertive sedation techniques uh does she mean beating people up maybe however these cloud knights were already sick and now they're injured too I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones. Ugh, as if I didn't have enough on my plate. Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? I don't have a dad. Uh... What about your mom? I don't have a mom either. <sighs> I get it. You think because I'm small, I must be a runaway child. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Xian Show, my short-lived outsider friends. Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyadara race is self-reincarnating. No mom or dad required. Huh? I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old shell. You're looking at a recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. Bellabog kids are making snowmen, while children here are writing prescriptions. Yep. Things haven't been very peaceful in the Law Fool recently. Make sure you don't. One well, no. Go running around, right? Well, your general gave us an errand. So, I'm afraid we have to. Hmm. Well, seeing as you saved me just now, if you're unlucky enough to acquire any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. As for medicine, I'll give you a 20% discount. Wow, she's literally Baizo and Chichi in a tiny body. How many people in the law fool are waiting for an appointment with me? You should count this as a blessing. If I hadn't left my purse at home, I wouldn't have to. <laughs> Enough of that. I have patience to see. Our little miracle worker seems very different from everyone else around. Don't you think, Mr. Yang? So this is the Vidyadara. I've only ever read about them. They're known as the dragon race. Not hard to see why. Excuse me, miss. Hold on a moment. It was only thanks to your help earlier that the dragon lady and those exalting sanctum residents got away unscathed. The dragon lady of the Alchemy Commission, Lady Bailu. You mean the child? She's starting to sound like a big shot. A friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the General Commission guests to deal with the troubles on the Lafu. You must be the guests. If you don't mind, I hope you can take the time to come to the Realm Keeping Commission. 
I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing. Oh wait, Dan Ho. Wait, this is amazing from Dan Ho. Oh, on Bella. Let's see, Pangafas. We barely have a mouth. We be have been alive for a month at least. Okay, then what you have? What is this icon? Wait, are we supposed to do this now? Um. I'm not sure if this is toy. Let me check something. So I'm supposed to go here, but oh, a chest. Mm -hmm. Drop by the realm keeping commission if you need help. Okay. Uh, we unlock then. So I suppose what she do this. The shipping passages in Cloudford changed even a little. The entire route would be drastically altered. Do you two know the way? I do not. <laughs> I came this way. I know it like the back of my hand. Just follow me. Um, so, silent but deadly. Let me know when you're ready and we can set off. Oh. Okay. Wait, this is a blue one? This is a blue quest. But I feel this is kinda important to some degree. Silent but deadly. It's good to have a sense of humor. Um, are you good or bad? Huh. Okay. Oh, come on, I cannot use the... Hey, silent but deadly! Shout if you see any danger, okay? Don't think just because you know a move or two, you can charge off by yourself. March's six-faced ice. There is a fight here. The 
There's supposed to be a passage. Why can't I see it? Somebody used the Cloud Ford control panel to block the road with containers. You can just jump over. Uh, who did this? I'm terrible with machines and stuff. Hold on. How do you know? I'm a traveling merchant. I've been here many times. Now, for a cloud knight to be unfamiliar with the local topography. I told you, I was only just transferred here from the Yao Ching. I don't come here very often. Control panel? Where is the control panel? Is that the one? Let me see. Oh, Locha, you've got sharp eyes. <sighs> Thank goodness. There's one star skip left. What? Where? Where does it go? Judging by where it's docked, it must be heading for Central Starskip Haven. Nice. We'll be safe there. <laughs> Come on. Let's climb aboard. Why are you laughing, Otto? Otto, if I say, if you are part of this group... Let's hurry. Please. Not really. I've just seen them before. That's all. Oh, what makes you ask that, young master? I'm happy as long as I get to leave this place. <laughs> I'm not a very interesting person. At this stage, I'm just taking it one step at a time. Thankfully, as a registered merchant on the Xianzhou, I get a discount on all my expenses. In that regard, it makes sense for me to stay a little longer. <laughs> Miss Sushang said she could show me around if I find myself unable to leave. I had some more trading to do on the other Xianzhou ships, but my main appointment was with Miss Ting Yun of the Whistling Flames Merchant Guild. We had a business deal to discuss, but I fear it will no longer go ahead. Most of the deals won't be particularly profitable. The IPC takes the majority. There's only one that might be worth the journey. A direct trade with the Fong Hu. Of course. Let's hurry and get on the star skip. Mm hmm? Something else? I don't know. I think we should be okay. Let's get out of here first and talk about it when we're in the clear. There should be a dedicated evacuation team waiting for us. You can go with them. Not the best time. No need to thank me. Just a cloud knight doing her job. Um, that depends on the higher ups. If there are still civilians to evacuate, then I'll need to come back. Okay. No, 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 Then it I press the run button. Eh? Don't let me have to do all this again. 